Hello everyone! Some massive spoilers have been leaked out on the internet today and a lot of people asked if I could make a video about it, talking about my opinion and talking about what it means. Before I begin, do know that there are going to be massive spoilers for the end of Wars of Draenor in this video. I can completely understand if you want to keep it a surprise, so if you don't want any spoilers, please turn off the video right now and thank you very much for watching. Right, so for those sticking around, what happened is that the Chinese version of the end cinematic has been leaked on the internet. If you want to check it out, I'll post the link in the description down below. Due to copyright or whatnot, I won't be using it in this video. If you want to see the video itself, then the link is down below. So what do we see in the cinematic? The end boss Archimond, he drops down to the floor as Gul'dan is chilling near the portal. A green beam engulfs the orcish warlock and Archimond says, Gul'dan, you signed a pact with me. Then a massive explosion follows, the light in Archimond's eyes dies and the day is saved. Duratan says that it's finally over and Gromash screams that Gul'dan was defeated, now the horde is free again. But Ketgar seems doubtful. He looks at Gul'dan's stuff and Euro asks of him if, if he doesn't think it's over yet. To which Ketgar says, Gul'dan and his demon masters are not so easy to be defeated. I'm afraid this is only the beginning. Euro then claims that they will help us whenever they need us. To which Ketgar transforms into a bird and he says, So long, till we meet again, look after yourself. It closes off with Euro saying that a wise one used to tell me, the light will let us live forever. The future is ours, we will stand together and we will rebuild Draenor. That's been taken from the translation on Reddit, so the English version will probably be a little bit different, but the visuals, they seem to match up with the text. Now my opinion on this, um, honestly I'm a little bit disappointed, it's, it's a little bit anticlimactic, yet at the same time it lives up to my expectations which weren't simply very high. I didn't expect it to play out like this, my speculation about it all was that I thought Ketgar and Gul'dan they were going to go out at the same time, uh, Gromash was going to sacrifice himself, but that didn't happen. Instead we're left with an open storyline which could lead into the next expansion, but I'll get to that in just a moment. I think that the feeling of it could have been so much more is something that Warlords will never be able to shake off for me. And if this is the end, then it fits the theme. Don't forget that they never planned to make Tanan Jungle the final zone of the game. Many storylines, they were built up in the expansion, but they've been simply cut out. You had Kargov, for example. Kargov Bladefist, he used to run away at the end of the fight on High Mall, and he was going to fight and, and live another day. Yet they changed that to him dying in High Mall. So my guess is that they wanted to tell a lot more storyline before this moment, and they simply didn't. Gromar switching sides between patches, and now standing there with all the other heroes. Like, yeah, everybody, Gul'dan's defeated, woo, we're free again. Oh, what? Me forming the Iron Horde, invading your reality? Nah, that wasn't me. I would never use my people like that, come on now. Are we just going to forget about all of that and be the good guys? Are we, you know, is Gromash our buddy now? I know due to the short story that Garrosh actually manipulated his father, but, but still, it just seems very out of the blue, and I'm not sure what they're cheering about. They are the ones who let Gul'dan happen, and even worse, don't forget that we were the ones who set Gul'dan free at the start of the expansion. Like, like what the frick, are we just going to be friends now? Well okay then, Ural doesn't care about Blackhand killing Marad anymore, that's all fine, we're all buddy buddy, we saved the world together, let's have some tea. So overall the cinematic, it, it looks awesome as usual, visual wise, I just don't think it's, it's a great conclusion to the storyline, but you know, maybe a, a small patch will still be added to finish up this storyline, maybe the next expansion will be better, and this is just my feeling to one single cinematic. It's very possible that the whole zone of Tanan and the raid itself, it ties into a greater storyline, I know that we're going to liberate Gromash during one of the fights, so it's very possible that we'll get a little bit of storyline going on in that one, and it will probably be a little bit more fleshed out. The patch is almost here, I can't wait to find out. Now the cinematic, if we're entering a uh, speculation country, uh, it does leave a few questions. We know that Archimond can't be killed outside of the Twisting Nether and it seems like his light goes out on Drenor. So does that mean that he's not dead, but is he sent back to the Twisting Nether? Is he going to be part of yet another storyline and what exactly happened to Gul'dan? Most obvious answer to me seems to be uh, sending him to the Twisting Nether, like you got a pact with me, you're not going anywhere, you're going to the Twisting Nether, I'll meet you there when my soul is sent back there. And it could mean that in the next expansion, Gul'dan is going to be part of another Legion invasion, only this time they're going to go for our Azeroth. 
If history repeats itself, they could even turn Gul'dan into another Lich King, to be honest. In our reality, it was Ner'zhul who betrayed Kil'jaeden. He tried to enter the portal to the Promised Land. Instead of the Promised Land, he ended up in front of Kil'jaeden, the one that he betrayed. And Kil'jaeden was so pissed off that he turned him into the Lich King. It's possible that Gul'dan has the same fate waiting for him that he's going to be torched by Archimon for a while, be turned into this uber evil creature that's going to lead into another invasion. He's not done though, that seems pretty obvious. So the alternate version, the alternate storyline, we're not done with it yet. The final bit that I want to talk about was Khadgar, and I thought it was pretty damn cool to see him transform in, into the Raven and fly away, but I do wonder if he's the Guardian right now, and it seems like they're pretty much confirming it. Someone on Twitter said, he has the staff, he has the power, he does the Raven thing, he does the job, what more do we need? An official diploma? And... To be fair, the one who tweeted that, you're absolutely right. Khadgar is acting in nearly every sense of the way like a guardian, but the one problem with it is that we still have Medan. Did they retcon Medan out of the storyline? Did Medan transfer his powers to Khadgar? What exactly happened there? Why is there such a gap and unexplained? This has been a question since beta, since we saw Khadgar with Atish. So I really hope that Blizzard is either going to give a statement about this, or maybe they'll even add a little short story explaining what exactly happened to Khadgar. So yeah everyone, patch day is upon us, or almost upon us, and I hope you're all going to have a fantastic time in the game with the Nan Jungle, the new raid, legendary questline, I can't wait to see it all. I'm going to go back to working on Monday's video so that I'm ready to record tomorrow, so thank you very much once again for watching everyone. Subscribe if you like my videos, and until next time guys, see ya!